It's the last day of December, the 731st. The year is coming to an end. But as the year is coming to an end and I sit down and I think about this whole year, this year as a whole, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of growing for me, a lot of things happened, YouTube, um, I went to university, I got my first jobs, a lot of things have, have happened, a lot of opportunities, a lot of things have come and go, a lot of people have come and go, I've learned a lot, I, I sit down and I realize, you know, I'm like, damn, this year felt long, this year felt long, but you know, one of the things that I'm very proud of that I did this year was go outside of my comfort zone. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, the thing is with when it comes to YouTube, and this is in terms of YouTube, when it comes to YouTube, I was always, you know, I was always waiting for like, oh, I need the, the best computer. I need the best, uh, best camera, the best editor i need to know how to edit i need to know how to do that because i felt like if i if i didn't put out like top tier content like clean content like i wasn't i wouldn't i wouldn't be nothing but you know i got tired of being a consumer i got tired of being a consumer of content just sitting down watching other people when knowing i could do the same thing i could do the same thing you know i could i could be a content creator i feel like i have i have everything that i need you know by the grace of god i have everything i need so I was like, if I'm just going to sit here waiting for the perfect time, the perfect time is never going to come. I had to go out there and take the opportunity with my own hands, you know, take it with my own hands and put in the work. So I said, cool. I started. This was like in the summer. I got my old rusty Chromebook, <laughs> my gaming headphones, and I started making videos. I started making reaction videos, boxing content, whichever, like, videos videos I wanted to make you know I started making content I'm started making videos and you know as I started doing it I was grinding I was putting up like two videos a day three videos a day I was enjoying it I actually liked doing it you know even though the quality was not the best you know the audio is not the best I liked doing it I liked doing it and I, and I was I just like damn I can do this I kept on putting their work and as I kept on putting their work you know I started getting more views I started getting subscribers you know? and I look back and I'm like, if I hadn't started, if I had waited for the perfect time, I would never have been here. You know, and by no means do I think I'm successful. I have like 73 subscribers. I, I'm not nobody. As of right now, I'm nobody. But that's not the point. I did not think I was going to be here. When I started making YouTube videos, I did not think I was going to be here. If you, I did not think I was going to make this much videos. I did not think I was going to get this much subscribers. I did not think I was going to get this much views. I exceeded my own expectations just because I went out of my comfort zone and I stopped waiting for the perfect time and I did what I had to do, you know, and I'm proud of myself for that. Thank God. I, didn't, I wouldn't be here without God, to be honest, because God was the one who gave me the idea. I was just sitting down on my, on my bed one day and like God gave me the idea. I'm like, wait, I could just make videos off my Chromebook. I could record my screen and this and that and that. And then I started doing it. This is just a, a lesson to... to to other people like you know don't wait for the perfect time there is no perfect time it's it's all a process it's all grind it's all growth you feel me you might not be the you might not have the, the best things you might not be the in the best place but just start it you know starting is what but then starting is one thing continue going to, to continue going is another thing but starting is the first part just start i keep telling my friends this you know they want to do this they want to do that my friends want to make youtube videos but they're waiting for the perfect time there is no perfect time whatever you want to do there is no perfect time you just have to start and grow and be consistent i went to university i started university uh you know i like it you know i like i like university so far but i know you know i could i could do better there's a lot of ups and downs high school finishing high school you know growing up turning 18 getting more and more responsibilities and i feel like i could have done better looking back i could have done much more better in every aspect of my life you know but we live and we learn i have no regrets because i can't i can't look back it's not it's not about looking back it's about looking forward you know and that's why this 2023 i've 
I have made a, 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 a pact with myself, a decision that in whatever I do in my life, I'll give a hundred percent. In YouTube, I want to take, like, I want to actually put in work in YouTube, but to, to get to where I need to be, the thing is with society, like with society, society wants us to like, like we see people on Instagram, they have instant, instant, instant success, instant uh, satisfaction, instant gratification. But then when you really look at it, when you really sit down and look at it, most of the successful people now, they've been putting in work since for years, for years. So who am I to sit down here? Look, for, for, for example, Eminem didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't gain underground success till he was 24. And he didn't even gain mainstream success till he was 27. Corey Kenshin, like people that inspire me, these are people that inspire me. Corey Kenshin, I look at some of his old videos. He was by like 20, 23 still like making um, videos and it's like, you know, PewDiePie, KSI. This is, and when I talk about success, I'm talking about long form of success because people come and go. The thing about um, um, fast success is you value it less. When everything just comes to you quick overnight, there is no value, you know? And people come and go. People blow up and then fall off, blow up and fall off. When I talk about success, I'm talking about success in the form of longevity. And, and when I talk about that, look at KSI, look at PewDiePie, look at Corey Kenshin. They, they've been making videos for years and years and years, and they just keep growing, keep growing, keep on growing, you know? And this, these are people that inspire me, you know? So who am I to sit here and, and, cry that oh i don't have a million subscribers cry oh i'm not getting that much views i'm not getting you know i've only i've been doing this for less than a year for less than a year so who am i you know that's why it's really about playing the long game and really putting in the work and that's what 2023 is about for me really putting in the work the whole year i just want to keep i just want to grind put my head down grind no no i mean no um no 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 being lazy you know, no being lazy. It's easy to say, but it's re like, it's really hard. You know, that's why I have to set goals for myself. I need discipline. I need consistency. Discipline is very key. I always say this. Do discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. Shout out to Mike Tyson. He gave me that quote, you know, so it's really about putting in the work. And that's what, that's what next year is for me. Put in the work, not just in YouTube and school, put in the work with my studies, you know, this year wasn't that bad in terms of school. This is my first, like first semester you feel me second like first there's a semester term first yeah first semester i think it wasn't that bad but i knew i could do much better putting 100 percent in my school being disciplined and being consistent and grinding put in put in 100 when it like comes to god you know the first half of the year i was doing good but then i just i, I fell away i fell astray you know getting closer to god is really that it really changed my life you know when i during quarantine it was a personal thing, you know, personal, like God came to me and I, I, and I started getting closer to him and my life really changed. My life really changed my perspective on things and, and, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, as the year went by, I slowly fell, you know, things and that things happen, things happen, but you know, his love, his love is going to always going to be there. And I know he's not that far away. He's not far away from me. So he's, he's just uh, arms, arms length away. So I, I had to put 100%, you know, read my Bible, pray every day. Even if it's like just a chapter, a verse, at least talk to God every day. That's one of my things. What well, I had to get a job. I had to put in, I had to put in work in everything, you know. There's just a lot of things that I, that, that, and it's going to require sacrifice. I have to sacrifice a lot of things. I have to sacrifice, you know, the fun stuff in life. But that's really what it's, what, what it's about. Success comes from sacrifice. Sacrifice is really what it's about. And... I really just got to sit down and talk to myself and, you know, set goals for myself. That's really what it's about. And this really, like, I don't even like, I'm not really like doing this video for nobody. I'm doing this video for myself. So when I'm up there in the future, I could come back to this video and say, I look at myself and say, I did it. You know, when 2023 is over and I'm making a video for 2024, I could look back at on this video that I made. I could look at the video and say, yeah, I accomplished everything I wanted to, to accomplish, you know, but this is also uh a call out to to people you know because i i believe everyone has it in them you know but some people just they just they just want to be lazy they don't want to put in the work and i've been there i've been there i've been there you know i look at it like oh, i don't want to do this i don't want to do that but i but i want to be there i want to i want to be at the top but i don't want to put in the work that's at the top but i've come to a realization that it doesn't work that way you know success doesn't come without sacrifice it's just the way it is
it's just a, and don't get it wrong don't get it twisted some people some people they get it some people they get that 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 even look at speed people think speed like i show speed people think his his rise was just like i mean to us it looks like it was just like this but he was really putting in the work he was streaming every day still streams every day till today you know like even people that we think get uh meteoric success they've put in the work too so so who am i you know i could do it you could do it. if you're watching this video you could do whatever you want to do it's all about if you want to put in the work that's really what it's about but it's easy to say even me right now i'm not there yet you know but 2023 um that's that's i mean that's literally tomorrow technically like them in like five hours six hours and when it comes to youtube videos we're just gonna i'm taking it to the next level i'm taking it to the next level i'm tired of just sitting in my room doing reaction videos when i know i can do much more i can do in real life content i could do videos in my boxing gym me training i could do videos in school videos of me and my friends you know i could start streaming i could do a lot of things there's so many things i could do but i just need the the, the vision is there i just need to put in the work and that's what I, I just need to get out there you know i need to get out there and just keep going and keep going i could do it i could do it i know i can do it and I'm, I'm y'all are gonna watch me do it you guys you watching this video if you're watching this video and you're subscribed you're gonna watch me become the best version of version of myself literally you're gonna watch me become the best version of myself i'm going to i'm going to oh my god you don't understand why like it's just it's just it's just gonna be different this year is gonna be like the grind is i'm gonna just stop talking just know different content is coming this year it might not be the, the beginning because i need to do other things to be able to get there but I'm, I'm eventually eventually i'm gonna get there and gonna see it and to me it's also about bringing my friends along with me because i know i know a lot of my friends want to do this too so this is about really bringing my friends along with me i also want to give like maybe working out i want to work out give that 100 percent work out at least like every other day you know boxing that's one thing i want to i want to keep boxing i want to get at least i mean my dad doesn't want me to fight but you know i want to get a fight so not, you know i know i could do it i know i'm good at it you know i went to the boxing gym and Literally, like two minutes after I was shadow boxing, the, the the instructor came to me. The coach came to me. He's like, "Oh, what gym did you come from?" And I, like, you look like you're an amateur fighter. And then when I told him this is my first gym, he was like, "Oh, yeah. he thought I was lying." If I could impress a coach after like five minutes of of shadow boxing, I know I could, I could, I could get far, you know. And that's really what it's about for me: proving myself right, and and t and proving my proving to myself that I could do I could do it if I put my mind to it, you know. That's really what it's about for me. With that being said, hey, everyone out there, if you're watching this video, you can do it too. And I want you all to be on this journey with me, you know? It's really, it's really, if you want to push yourself to the next level, you you gotta, you gotta put in the work. So 2023 is a year of hard work for me, grinding. And I already know it's gonna suck. It's going to suck so bad. When all my friends are having fun and I'm just putting in the work, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. You know, it's gonna be worth it in the end. It's gonna be worth it, man, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna see y'all in another video, man. Hey, 2023, here we come.